Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope you're good and great and wonderful. I have to stand a little awkward and I'm a little bit woozy because I just applied polyurethane to uh, the headboard. This is the headboard project sitting here and um, this has all been filmed and it's the edit is almost ready to go. I mean as soon as I, all I have to do now is assemble, put the power strip in, put the lights in, and then attach it to the bed frame. And then I'll be able to publish a video about that. Um, I did not, however, film the polyurethaning process. And maybe I should. Now that I've done it, I, here's the thing. When it comes to the way that I apply polyurethane, specifically water-based, this is polycrylic, Minwax polycrylic, water-based polyurethane, I would not do what I'm about to say with oil-based polyurethane, do not, do not. But when it comes to applying water-based polycrylic, I throw all of the traditional how to apply finishes uh, tips out the window. I don't do any of it, I do the exact wrong thing and I love the outcome every single time. So, I didn't film it because when, when you film something like that, you, you tend to get just a lot of pushback and that's fine because people have opinions um, the, my opinion is the way that I use a polyurethane is as a sealant not necessarily as a top coat and um, I can apply it however I want it's my project <laughs> but so I didn't put it in the video but I'll talk to you about it here and if if you want to if, if I should make a video about that in the future maybe I will but what I do is go crazy with it. I put on it super thick. It's just drench my brush and slather it on. I mean, almost to the point that it's running off the edges. I try really hard not to get it to that point, but I put it on very thick and I put on a single coat and that's pretty much it and you can walk away. It works with the water-based polyurethane because it'll dry no matter how thick it is. The oil-based stuff will not. If you put oil-based th finishes on too thick, they just will never dry, or it, if they do, it takes months. You have to go really slow and put on lots and lots of thin coats. With the water-based stuff, I slather it. I just soak it in. And the reason is, it's water-based, one. Water-based polyurethane, if you, if you don't know this, this is, you know, specifically talking about Minwax polyacrylic. This is not just water and plastic. There's also, there's also solvents in here that break down the plastic and they help the drying process. So it's not just water and plastic, right? But there is water and that water will soak in to the wood. All right, that water will lift grain. That water will do all sorts of craziness. Uh, whereas with traditional oil finishes, not so much. But what I have found is if I soak it as much as I can, just slather it on, and let it dry, whatever grain got raised is trapped inside the polyurethane and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to sand for days trying to get all those little nibs off. It just doesn't happen. On top of that, uh, it will always just dry because those solvents disperse, the, the, the water can evaporate quickly. It doesn't take very long. Um, and like I said before, I'm not using this as a top coat. When I use water-based polyurethanes, it's very, very rarely in a top coat situation. If I am using it in a top coat situation, I still do it the way I just mentioned. I lay it on as thick as I can, but then I'll come back and sand it and I'll start putting on finish coats. And usually that's two or three. So when I did M's desk, I used water-based on her desk and I did three coats on that. I did my initial flood coat, just a super heavy coat and then I sand it and put on two thinner coats. With this, not, I'm never, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm going to lightly buff this with synthetic steel wool. I use, I don't, I don't have anything I can reach. I use uh, quadruple aught synthetic steel wool. I will buff it lightly. I don't want a whole bunch of dust. I'm just gonna buff it. I'll wipe all that off and then this gets a coat of wax, just paste furniture wax, buffed in. And that's it, it's done. It's a headboard. This isn't a dining room table. This isn't some piece of heirloom furniture. It's a headboard made out of pine with pocket holes. I mean, you can see the, the mess that it is. This is not heirloom furniture. I'm not going crazy with it. So I can get away with being quick and dirty with finishes. And this is one of the ways I love being quick and dirty is with this, you know, this product. Just 
slather it on as long as it's not super hot if it's really hot or if even in, or if it's in the winter time if it's in the winter time and the humidity in the room is super low uh, it'll dry too fast uh, during the summer when it's not super hot my my garage right now is probably uh, 75 or so 74 so it's perfect um, you can slather it on as thick as you want brush it on all you want be aggressive with it you know normally when you're brushing polyurethane you want to go nice and slow you don't want to agitate it and introduce bubbles if you're putting it on thick you can just go to town with it and all those bubbles will pop the the, the finish will release it'll settle itself out you won't have a ton of brush strokes it works great so that's what i did i'm a little bit woozy um this particular finish additionally another reason why i didn't go crazy this particular finish came from like a junk store. It's a store around here called Ollie's and it's basically they just get like factory reject products or stuff that's been in car wrecks or whatever. This finish is already settled in the can quite a bit so it's not in great shape and there's a lot of particulate in it. Um, so if I if I was going to do if this was going to be like a hand-me-down piece of furniture and I was going to use water base I would have bought a new can and and probably put a little bit more care into it but when I'm doing something rough and, and quick like this Go crazy. Have fun with it. It's super simple. And the wax is what is actually going to give it that nice touch, that nice feel. This right now feels a little bit like a magazine cover. It's a little weird. Uh, and it does have a little bit of roughness from the grain. Buff it with some steel wool and then buff in. I use the steel wool also to buff in the wax. Perfect. Perfect finish. So maybe someday I'll do a video about that. It's not going to be in this video, but now you know. That's what I've been up to. I'm going to go back to... i got to go make dinner. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is blazon. It's a noun or a verb, meaning a coat of arms or to proclaim something wildly. You find the Rutherford's family blazon on every one of Prescott's ties. Blazon. B-L-A-Z-O-N. B -L -A -Z -O -N.